Hello viewers, I'm SB, and I am way too into control. So let's, what are we doing? We're going back to Emily, right? And we don't have any other important missions right now. This is just get back to Emily time. Finally time to leave the power area. Where the hell am I going? Uh, sector elevator. Through central maintenance. Yeah, that'll work, right? It's just out that way. One of these days, I'm going to fail that jump I keep making for no reason. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm making the jump for no reason. I'm failing. I will, I will fail the jump because I'm bad at video games. Oh, hey. That's the sound of enemies. Hey, that guy's strapped into a chair. We heard about that. Like the spin does a very inconvenient amount of damage for, for fighting these guys. Although maybe it would be less of a problem if I would just like hit my shots. You know what? I hit some of them. Ooh, wow, I must have dragged him right through that barrel, huh? Okay, well I'm done with you. Get out of here. I turned the camera away before he made impact, which hopefully saved some people the uh, the grossness of what that impact must have been like. Okay, this is not the right way. Oh, but is it, there was a there was access to the sector elevator from here, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, this will do. Okay, look at that. We're navigating the power sector in record time. I have I have had some problems with this in the past. Uh, the executives? I don't actually remember which part of the building we're supposed to go to. Yeah, it's the executive sector, right? It's on the same map as the director's office. I think. Oh, also, I think we have some ability points. Maybe I should actually spend those. Yeah, this is totally right. Look at what a good job I'm doing, kind of accidentally. Okay, let's hit the control point real quick. We don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can bring in an observation unit from the containment sector. Did we hear this conversation already? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's let's focus on saving the world. We can talk to the little people later. Uh, so we can upgrade the shield thing that I don't think is particularly compelling. Or we could grab the ability to launch the large enemies when their health is low. Honestly, I'm not... Maybe we just hold the ability points? I don't know. More more launch damage is also good. If we do any more launch damage, though, we're going to immediately kill enemies by hitting them with launch stuff instead of lowering them so that we can grab them. You know what? That's probably fine, actually. Okay, and while we're here, how are we doing on constructs? Oh, we could upgrade the grip. We do have a hidden trend and everything. Yeah, sure. I know I'm not even currently using it, but it just feels like we should get weapon upgrades. Let's swap back to it for a little while. It has upgraded damage now. I'm curious, like, how much. Uh, swap back to grip. And then we can run... What can we run? Yeah, sure. Flat damage boost plus headshot damage boost. That seems like a pretty okay way to go. I am... Not anywhere on these. That's right, I need to kill five enemies in a streak without uh, getting hit. That is not a thing I have been trying to do at all. Oh, and we did not look at the file for the safe. The object is a Guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements vary. When bowed, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. Discovered in the basement of a home in Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. You know, I hadn't really thought about this before, but the advent of the internet must have tremendously increased the number of weird events, right? Because it's not like it wasn't possible for conspiracy theories to spread before the internet, or you know, weird things like that, weird little special interest groups, but it's so much easier now to get a critical mass of people 
together to believe a thing together, almost no matter how ridiculous that thing is, like, life must have become a lot more difficult for the Bureau of Control eh, somewhere around, like, 1995-ish. Uh, blood occasionally emerges from seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. That is, by a large margin, the most SCP thing we have read in any of these files. Okay, uh... Ms. Pope. Hey, I'm back, and I'm doing a great job. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's and it talk. took no time at all, and I totally yes, didn't get lost. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. She is Jerry. shocked. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. This is me noticing that our clearance level just went up. I see Marshall it. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. 
we take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Man, this game... I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how well this is working for everybody else, but this is extremely working for me. New Bureau Alert. Oh, I have a timed mission. Down in the NSC. Well, thankfully, I'm actually really good at getting to the NSC now. I had not noticed this wall of portraits up here before. Alright, we're gonna do some more stuff, but first, we're gonna go deal with this timed mission. It's an odd thing. And of course, I'm like, yeah, look, I'm so good at navigating now, and I immediately, immediately, I'm like, oh shoot, how do I get back to the place where I was? There we go, sector elevator, down to the maintenance level. Wait, do I want sector, I think, I, yeah, I want, I want maintenance sector, not the access corridor. Because <clears throat> the maintenance sector elevator is the one that's going to take us right back to the place that we came up, right? Maybe. Yeah, the access corridor will be where we entered the first time. And we'll have to take that, like, circuitous route. This is better. I have to say, I really like... Um, she has... She, uh... I can't remember the name of our character now. Jesse. Jesse has a really, like, sort of halting style of line delivery that I think works really well for a person who is constantly running internal monologue and constantly checking what is safe to say in her head. I mean, that is a lot of damage, I'll say that. Alright, I'm supposed to be throwing stuff at you. Okay. Streak is two. And then, and then all the enemies were dead. Well... Okay, to the energy converters, which is... that away. Does it seem like there's a lot more chanting going on in here than there was before? Okay, this is not the best way to get where I am going. I actually don't think... Air dashing is probably not faster uh, in situations like that, because you really do stop pretty hard when you hit the ground. Is this... This is... This is also bad. Keeping my eyes open. We ain't out of the woods yet. How on earth did I get to the inverter section before? Well, by going through a door over there. So I, <laughs> I was already in the right place, probably. Well, hopefully the timer on this mission is not going to be terribly tight. Oh, hey, look, it's that jump again. This way? Oh, how about the how about the big door? What says energy converters above it? You know what? I'm choosing to believe that me constantly getting turned around is building shifts. It can't possibly be my fault. Okay, that is still a problem to be uh, figured out. Well, I'll eliminate a key hits target already. Right. I got hit, by the way. Mission is uh, turning out to be more difficult than I thought it might be. Yeah, man, this thing's uh, damage output now is very solid. You know, you do still have to aim it a little bit. It's really hard to, um... Right. That right, reload time. It's really hard to chain headshots because of the... The combination of their semi-random... Like, they have a couple of different stagger animations. And the graphical effect. It's pretty easy to go center mass over and over again, but... That feels pretty screwed up. Alright, come here, you. Oh, that's not good. Cool. 
Well, at least we've got ourselves in a good rhythm here. I'm pretty much just letting the, uh... Just letting the enemy health bar be my guide here. Okay, one more throw. One more throw should do it. Ooh. That was not easy. Also, we are we are not like we are not safe. This feels a little unfair. Man, there's still more enemies. I want to run over there and grab all that health. And we completed the, the alert, right? I should have just maybe bailed. Because it looks like the enemy spawns might be infinite. I was kind of hoping I could push over there. There's like a rift floating around in the air. I thought maybe that was what was spawning him. So I was going to try to push over there and, I don't know, throw a chair into it or something. But no such luck. Well, hopefully when it respawns us... Like, we crossed a control point pretty close to NSC, but it might just remember that the mission's done. Yeah, it did. Okay, good enough for me. I don't even actually know what we got for that. Uh, research parapsychology. Got it. Movement is critical to avoid sustaining damage in combat. <laughs> yeah. Standing still is generally not advisable. So... I need to take better advantage of the thing we learned we could do there. Because the... Uh, throw projectiles hover off your right shoulder, you can put your entire body behind cover and just have the objects out around the right side of the cover and still be able to deal damage to the enemies without being in any danger at all. Okay, so this is a hiss effect, right? Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I I've been here for 24 years now. I I've always been here. And, and through those years, hmm. we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Oh good, I don't even have access to the manual. So I was thinking about this a little bit. I'm wondering if maybe, uh... I've been wondering maybe, maybe Darling is a problem. Really, the only thing I'm thinking, the only reason I'm thinking that, is that, uh, the old director, Trench, seemed to believe that he was under attack from sources within the Bureau and that Darling was, like, the only person he could trust, and that makes me think that Darling is not, in fact, trustworthy, mostly just based on, like, that would be, that's the plot that makes sense to me. Not really, not really anything within the game. Maybe meta plot analysis is not a good way to approach this, or indeed any story. You're not actually dead. You would think the way these guys float with their head toward you so much, that it would be easy to shoot them in their stupid heads. Reload, reload, reload quickly. Okay. You, sir, have screwed up. You I can just throw stuff at. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, I think my streak is three right now. I also think I might have seen a guy up there. Oh, uh, maybe not. 
Did we just find another new currency? I don't think we've had any astral blips before. Is that... No, that is not a person. That's a person over there, though. Alright. I can't sprint while carrying an object. This challenge is probably not worth all the effort we're putting into it. Oh, that was an unexpected effect right there. Hey, would you guys please die when I do psychic throwing at you? I keep very nearly killing them. I'm starting to think that I am maybe misunderstanding the challenge. Because it's definitely not completing, right? Uh, missions without getting hit. Oh, in the ex it only counts in the executive sector. Are there even really enemies in the executive sector for us to fight at this point? Like how annoyed that guy sounded when I hit him. Didn't even sound like he thought he was in danger. It was more of a oh, come on kind of thing. Stop. Stop doing that. Okay. And that was everybody, right? You got an uncommon shield efficiency mod, which it's like honestly kind of hard to care about. Maybe I should use the shield, I don't know. Probably care about this though. Jesus. New enemy type that I didn't even realize we were fighting. Bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance, you know, like a sniper. Using the telltale searchlight affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. Corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from their target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check balconies. Uh, the rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat. Okay, that's not a problem. I, I can't imagine that being an issue. So I think we just failed to pick up a mod over there because we are full. So let's resolve that problem. Where was that? You, okay, right here. Yeah, can I just break these down anytime I want? The vast majority of these we're just going to crush. Yeah, like, that's useless. Plus 5% energy. It's such a small amount, even if that was the thing that I wanted uh, to run in that slot. That's that's a bad amount of it. I kind of wish it allowed you to collapse all the mods of a certain type. And we can certainly get rid of the common version of anything that we have an uncommon of without even having to look at the values. What do you know? It turns out I am the janitor's assistant after all. I'm just gonna burn all of these, honestly. All the common ones. Okay, and then we don't have any uncommon duplicates. Uh, I think we're gonna keep the energy recovery speed up. I actually really like this one. And then we don't really need to do the same for the weapon mods, not yet. Okay. And actually, that is the uncommon version of the personal mod we're using. With an extra 6% recovery speed on it, it's like Christmas morning. Go ahead and burn that as well. Okay. So, that right there is some sub-hiss energy. Where else? Right here. Yeah, that's not the end of it. Oh wait, do I have a like a cool jumping melee animation? Oh, not really. It just 
It just, like, snaps you back to the ground and you do the normal one. Okay, parapsychology. We are allowed to go through there. Dr. Darling's office is in that direct. I mean, it, it's going to be too high clearance, right? Let's explore a little bit, though, before we go forward. You know how I feel about this. Alright, shelters always have loot in them. Yeah, it feels a little bit disrespectful to pull up the bodies of people who are not pissed in order to use them as projectiles. I think I'd feel really bad if I did that accidentally during combat. Yeah, I hesitated. I, I remembered eventually. One of these times, I'm telling you, something is going to happen. I can't decide whether it's a more effective scare if they figure out like what the timing is and wait just long enough, or if they just never do it. Okay, this is interesting. What is down here? Why is this the only one that's open? Security cameras... The cameras are moving to track us. You think those are automated, or is there like a person somewhere who's still running these? Because we haven't found the overall security room, right? I mean, I guess I don't even know how security is run here. We've, we've found the security area for the generator floor. But probably there's somewhere with like a whole bunch of video screens. The song questionnaire. Auditory Experience 84C, Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Oh, are we about to go hear a song? You can see there's uh, one of these sound isolation rooms in here. Did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear at your, mi <laughs> appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. That's a weird way to word that question. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Uh, please choose one from each of the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. Huh. I mean, I'm assuming we're about to walk through this door and hear this song, maybe? The game does have a no copyrighted music switch. Uh, I did not enable it because I had, I'm going to tell you right now, I had heard that there's a really cool part involving a song, and I didn't want to accidentally make that moment less impactful for me than it was for other people. So this video might get demonetized. It's possible. Can I sit in the thing? No. Are we supposed to just sit in here and listen to this? Or rather stand in here because she is extremely not interested in sitting. Okay, I was kind of waiting to see like when the song actually kicked in if something would happen. I mean, I guess we'll just sit in here the whole time, right? This is the best I can dance. Pretty good speakers. Most speakers won't survive a full speed chair impact. I'm kind of surprised like the door didn't lock behind us when we started it or anything. How long do you suppose this song is?
fantasizing, dancing like plagues, mesmerizing, my dark disquiet lay in such eerie harmonies, I'm making waves and diving under, lightning to the sound. Huh. Did you see a little... I was probably imagining. I thought I saw a little bit of movement at the edge of the window there. Actually, what, what is that right there? I don't know. I think this is every object in this room. Okay, this I thought that might be the end. I mean, I like it. It's just, um, it's really hard. You spend a lot of time when you do Let's Plays training yourself out of letting there be dead air or standing still for very long. It is actually difficult for me to just sit in a room for a couple of minutes at this point. And that's why I'm not doing it. Probably just impact damage and not the room slowly shaking itself apart, right? We might not have done the test right, because it's possible you're not supposed to come in here and just smash every object in the room. <laughs> Listen to that music really took a lot out of her. I mean, that was a good song. I don't know if that's a, like, if that is a real world band. But, uh... And these are the lyrics. Okay, well that was a weird little experience. Is nothing gonna ha- is that really where we're at? Just nothing's gonna happen? Huh. You just made a spooky noise like I was supposed to have noticed. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess let's just get back to it. Does that mean we failed the test or passed the test? Ooh, this is glowy and kind of a weird way. I guess it's just very reflective. It's reflecting all the greenery. Is this climbable? Okay. You know, video game stuff. Ooh. The mold. Uh, well, we already know from experience we should not attempt to go in there. This game is a strange thing. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? Director or Doctor Theodore Ash. Could be a real person. Hard to say. Really, what is real anymore? Uh, you know, we don't need to turn on the radio. Hey. There we go. Now this is more my speed. No, actually, like legit, I, I legitimately like that other song. Okay, Black Rock Analysis. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Yeah, there was even a shot. Like in the other videos, they've been sort of like in the background, or I assumed they were just there to provide the in, the illusion that people were working behind him. But in that last video that we saw when we came in here, there was totally a shot that was just them standing there looking awkward, not doing anything. 
Hey, don't get me wrong, beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh yeah, I finished the comparative analysis of the two Blackrock samples you sent. The prism, or whatever you called it. I filed them in the usual place under C, for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? Haha. Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks, or dinner even. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. Hubert, dude. Lay back a little bit. Carla's here, she's just trying to, like, do her job and get through the day, and you're all being Hubert on her. I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to say nobody likes Hubert, but, like, you know, kind of, you know. Huh. Did we kill an enemy over here? I mean, I, we must have. Well, obviously, we're going to have to go get that. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by something, but maybe the name of whatever the process is that they materialize by, uh, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought Blackrock, one of our most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing, as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. I wonder if the black rock is what the service weapon is made out of. Because it's certainly a, like, rocky substance that is black. Okay, I think we can get to that. So we probably want to approach it from up there. All we have to do is dash, just the air dash, carefully. It'd be really, yep, easy to do that thing and overshoot, although apparently I found a place that it's okay to stand. <laughs> Maybe this isn't as dangerous as I'm making it out to be. She will not grab after a dash, it looks like. I might be able to just make the jump, though. Ah, almost. Yeah, I can totally walk on this. I thought I was not going to be able to walk on it. This is button work. This button is ornamental. It is a painting of a button. Sort of an archetypal representation of a button. Well, if I'm allowed to just walk on this, it gets a little bit less scary. <laughs> Hmm. Thought I heard a sound like an enemy spawning. Really, I can't get up here? Okay. Good news! I'm not crazy! Bad news! Everything else about what is happening right now. Shoot, I, I accidentally created cover for him. Jesus. Okay. Sounds like we're not done, right? Tension music has not ended. I don't know. I'm just going to try the jump again. So don't dash. It looks like maybe just a running jump is sufficient here. Uh, you are in my way. So I think what we want to do here is jump, turn, and dash. Okay, they're above me. Well, that is not at all functional as a strategy. You know what? I should I should be trying to air dash onto that platform. That'd solve all my problems. You do have to actually like <laughs> try though. You have to press the button. There we go. Okay. I was slightly exploded. Mildly exploded. Yeah, honestly, that, that wasn't that bad. When you consider that that was two rocket-propelled grenades more or less directly to the face, but it's not a bad amount of damage to take. Okay, now... 
the direction that actually seems like it might be forward. Hold on, sorry. One more second. Boy, they really don't want you hanging around. Huh? And what more can I do than put the crosshair directly on the head and click? Also, another timed mission. Okay, this is what I was curious. I was just making sure that the other side of that uh, that corner full of mold was, in fact, where we thought it was. I don't know why I accepted that mission, because I don't really... I don't have any intention of doing it. I want to just keep moving the main plot forward. We've spent enough time dicking around in rooms listening to my new favorite band. Let's do the thing. Okay. Ooh, that hiss effect is sort of like a... She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Yeah, it's appearing sort of like a, a red reversal of the Polaris effect. Oh, that's weird. Okay, it's just a coincidence that it was going dark right as I was turning the camera. Well, I can't fit through there, so... This is really cool looking. Making sure we're not missing anything. Parakinesiology. Oh. Well, I'm a little worried about that big hitch. I wonder what that portends. Oh, I should have I should have quipped about how we had like a message for him or something. I don't know. Like, I don't see you trying to snipe me. Good lord. Alright, my intention there... Shield? Shield? Hey, look at that. I found a use for it. Get me behind the thing. Get me behind the thing. Okay. Do this. You know, I need the service weapon to figure out how to be a grenade launcher. I think that would be very helpful. Oof. Well, I uh, I got tagged. But let's describe that as me. I just a little tiny bit tagged. Hey, here's some bad news. We didn't hit a control point at any uh, at any point during that. The game has been pretty good so far about remembering stuff, but I don't know where it's gonna spawn us. Maybe at the elevator. Yeah, okay. So given the spawn rates of the enemies, I expect we're going to have to fight a little bit, but, like, all of the stuff we collected is probably still collected. And... Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. But yeah, like, if we... Why can I not... There we go. If we reopen this, the thing in here is... Actually... Did we even enter this one? I was gonna say, the thing in here is still gonna be collected. No, this is definitely a new place. Uh, emergency call. A possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. The event is believed to have been caused by something, and as a result, the following... Okay, this there's actually no information left in this file. Well, they sure did redact it. Whoever, whoever did that should really be proud of themselves. They've done an incredible job. Man. Uh, sniper bullets. That really hurt. Okay. We didn't actually go up these stairs last time, did we? We just went straight toward the parapsychology door. We should do this. I'm sure that, given that this is the direction to Dr. Darling's office, I'm sure we'll have to come back here later. I, I doubt we can resolve whatever plot there is to resolve with him this early in the game. But the light on his door is green. 
I mean, he's just not going to be in here. Why am I, why am I acting like the green light means anything? Ooh, okay, this is interesting. What are these for? Ooh, he looks rough. Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? That is the weakest Seinfeld impression I've ever heard. Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. And we were already doing that, yeah, obviously. Whether or not uh -huh. you're wearing an HRA. You gotta get to your punchlines faster. Uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. You know, like what water is actually made of. Classified, not water might pour in and... You'll be glad you got a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's going to be don't horrible. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that that certainly doesn't make me feel very good about my theory that he might be responsible for it. You know, might be a bad guy in some way. Hmm. Why is one of the balls gold? Think that means anything? Why is he... What is up with all these drawings of what is supposed to, I assume, represent... I mean... Is this a way that you could be trying to represent four-dimensional space? Like the cube within the cube. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just keep it in mind. Resonance theory. Resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? Uh, something opened the door to a whatever I've called George. The George emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder, is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? Ph ph phenomena? Surely? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common George that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Refer to file George for full report. We gotta meet this guy, George. That, hmm. That just, like, totally did not open the thing I thought it was gonna open. I suspect my colleague, Dr. Harrington, has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all fuss but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Dr. Abraham Lewis, you suck. We found him, guys. We found the villain. Uh, compare. One of these is blue, and the other one is red. So, data info conclusion? Seems like a solid process. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle, determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious, would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the George and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many, uh, so many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity, 
Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully, the truth will emerge. Oh my god, is that an unredacted file number reference? It's a shame that we don't have numbers on any of these things, so I can't even tell what that might be referring to. Well, I mean, we found a lot of stuff, a lot of things that we can read. Ooh, hey. It's an ob it's a it's a wireframe thing that we could look at in such a way as to reproduce many of these figures. Wonder if there's actually something you can do with this. There's actually quite a few of them in here, huh? Were there five balls before? Hmm. Probably. That's probably just my memory being my memory. Well, this is just very confusing. I don't know who to believe. Astral Plane Counter Essay. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the George, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on, or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power. I'm sure these two are both the board, right? Uh, the astral plane and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very George of objects, such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the George, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with, of course, our friend George? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of that role? Why do we assume this involvement by, you know who, is a natural fact and not something more... I don't know, George-like in nature. And yeah, I agree with the basic premise that all of this stuff is extremely menacing. The whole nature of everything that's happening here, including the fact that apparently the environment and the objects of power seem to mostly like me, doesn't make it any less unsettling. In fact, maybe makes it more unsettling? Hey, this metal detector actually works. I was kind of hoping walking back through would shut it up. Alright, how about this? Nope, doesn't work. Well, let's... I mean, it's letting us through anyway. Okay, so this is... Ooh. So there's no bridge right there, right? That's the one we saw, that's the one we came out onto earlier. We get ourselves a new hotline record for that. Sure did. This is maybe not related. <laughs> Alright, you heard the big triangle. We must shut up them. I can do that. I've been shutting people up all day. So wait, is this actually going to let us through? Okay, well, I mean, that's certainly interesting. Where does this go? Ooh. The ashtray maze. I feel like maybe I should not just be given the names of places right away. <laughs> okay, wow, that's a, uh, a large area right there. The fact that there's a painting of the hallway here has to be significant somehow, right? Just don't know how. Are any of the doors open in the painting, or... 
doesn't look like it. I can't really, can't really see anything out of the ordinary. I mean, this is, this isn't just a weird place. We're still definitely in the oldest house. Ooh, is this one of those windows that I can? Nope. All right, I guess let's go exploring. Oddly shaped doors. Oh, wait a second. There's a notice on the wall over there. Is this important? Danger, open pit. Okay. Well, the only ritual that we know is to do a thing three times whenever you do it. So let's keep that in mind and maybe it will be relevant here. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wish I'd looked at all the paintings before that happened. I wonder if they changed or if the room changed to match them. Okay. Seen an awful lot of copies of the same picture here. Oh. There's a gouge in the wall, and for some reason, the painting is shooting sparks. Right. Okay. Doesn't seem to have any effect. I was wondering if there might be something of interest behind the painting. It just kicked us back out to here. Okay. Well, let's experiment a little bit. So, this painting, this painting is visible in this painting, except it's not this painting. This is the spot where this is hanging, but that's maybe the other one, the one that just depicts the hallway? That's certainly interesting. I'm not really sure what to... Hmm. Suddenly appearing chair. I'm not really sure what to make of this. It's called the Ashtray Maze, so maybe we gotta mess with the ashtrays? Maybe that's why they show us the name of the place? Just so that we know that the ashtrays matter? Okay, that opened, but this didn't close. This is definitely different. Did that happen? That might have happened because I did the thing with the ashtrays. Okay, ammo efficiency. Actually, hold on. An ammo efficiency mod totally could matter. What if we drop you for minus 9% ammo cost per shot? Yeah, I will take that. What does that sound? What is that sound? Where's that coming from? It sounds like it's just on the other side of the wall, maybe? Hmm. This is the painting we threw a rock at, right? Because the top right corner sagged after that. So why is this one... We definitely are not responsible for all of the damage to the walls. This is, um... Okay, this is new. What I was about to say there is, this is creeping me out. Oh, hey, that... That was very strange. I'm gonna shoot all of the paintings that aren't hung straight? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe that's the play? Oh. Okay, well, things are getting progressively stranger. Feels like it reacted.
I am definitely flailing right now. This is not, I have no plan. Does the paper say anything? It doesn't really say anything readable. There's a sound, though. It sounds like it's maybe coming from, like, right behind this wall. Man, if a problem is not solvable through violence, is it even really solvable? There's no ashtray out here. Oh, interesting. Why doesn't this one fall off the wall? Hmm. A door is very good. Huh. That's definitely strange. Okay. Dream logic. If you are stuck, you are supposed to perform a ritual. Like, that's what we did in the Ocean View Motel, and that's what we heard about the agents doing in the Ocean View Motel to help them find their way out. Like I said, the only ritual we know is to do a thing three times, which is to say that maybe I've already screwed this up. Maybe we were supposed to, I don't know, only shoot three ashtrays, or maybe shooting stuff at random wasn't even the solution. Miners are forbidden from having delicious cigarettes. You know what? So's everybody else. They didn't, they didn't shatter quite the way I was hoping it would. There is nothing, like, secretly written on the back of it. I mean, this appears to pretty much reflect the state of the room as it was when we came in. This one also does not fall off the wall. Oh, I thought I saw movement over there, but it was just that thing becoming highlighted. It really does sound like whatever that sound is, it's right through here. See, the hallway does show... The painting of the hallway does show doors on both sides of the hall, which is not the way the hall is actually set up. There's only one door. And it's only on the right side as you come in. Okay, weird. Tab toggle map. Yes, thank you. That's a very helpful. So what am I supposed to be getting from the paintings? Because the paintings are pretty much the only thing in here. This is a cool sequence, but I am definitely lost. So it's, it's this hallway, right? The lights are on. All the lights are on. The painting has actually been repaired a little bit, which is interesting. Like, the, these, some of these pieces are that I think were gone before are back in place. And there are doors. Let's see. There's a door right here in the painting. I guess my melee attack must have bounced it off the wall. This whole place is in kind of a state of disrepair. I'm wondering if it's something to do with the order of path traversals. Why does it keep telling me to look at my map? I know where I am. Well, I mean, sort of. Hmm. 
This is very interesting, but we might have to just come back to it later. Give me a little bit of time away from it to consider. Might do me good. Also, to maybe let it reset so that if it is indeed a thing that you can make undoable, we can uh, we can undo the undoableness of it. I'm assuming, maybe this is not reasonable, that when we do whatever it is we'll ne we need to do, that's going to open up and let me go somewhere or see something. Okay. So I'm thinking, if there was something in this painting that was different from the way the room was actually set up, then probably the solution to the puzzle would be to fix it, right? To make the room actually look like that. Yeah, I don't know. I think we might just have to give up on this for right now. It has been about an hour. This might be a, might be a good place for us to stop and just let my brain rest a little bit. So I'm going to run back out here and call it there for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, come back next time, tomorrow, when we are going to have figured this out or we're going to go somewhere else and never speak of it again. We'll see you then.